Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills Academy of English. Today we will talk about few of the advanced grammatical errors what people are associated with. In the previous video, I came up with this grammar exercises where I gave you simple exercises that's perhaps for the beginners. Today I have got a little, little difficult. Probably if your level is intermediate or advanced, then this video is for you. Try getting that 10 out of 10. So in the beginning, I'm going to show the question. I'm going to give you two, two and a half minutes. I think two minutes is enough. Two minute timer, I'm going to set and give you that quiz. Post two minutes, I'm going to come back and give you the in-depth explanation. All right, I really hope you have done the exercise and hoping to get 10 out of 10. So let me help you with the correct answers. Each of the students is, each means everybody, it's one. So subject verb agreement says each represents one person. Each represents a singular. So each of the students have is wrong. It has to be has. Correct your grammar. A lot of people don't know this. Each of the students is happy. Okay, each is, not each are. Each have is wrong. Each has, he has, each has. All right. Second, the company is comprised of, you never say comprised of, you say it comprises or you can say consists of. Remember this, it comprises or you can say consists of, you never say is comprised of. Remember, remember this, the company consists of or the company comprises five departments. All right. Despite of is the wrong statement. It's in spite of, in spite, look at the spelling of it, I N space S P I space of the two spaces in between it's three separate words in spite of or this is equal to despite despite of is a wrong grammar okay despite the rain or despite of the rain he was laying you lay lays to put your hands on someone to lay the foundation lay is, is a verb it's to do an activity he was laying on the beach no he was just lying sleeping it's l y i n g uh, on the beach it's not laying uh, laying is to lay the hands on lay the foundation it's a lie lying on the beach means he was just lying on the beach the professor gave john and i a special assignment i gave you the assignment you gave me the assignment when you are the action you're going to use the word i when you are that hero when you are the doer when you are the receiver you're going to use the word me so the professor is the actor he's going to do the action. He's the doer. He gave John and me. If I do it, if I am the actor, if I am the doer, then I gave you. If you are giving, then I say you give it to me. Me is the receiver. Um, professor is the doer here. I is wrong. It should be professor gave John and me a special assignment. 
Hope it is clear. All right, the data is too complex for it to be easily understood. A lot of people use this that strong. The data is too complex to be easily understood. Easy peasy, simple English. Don't make it simply unnecessarily complicated. I'm really looking forward to remember this. Looking forward to is a phrase which always goes with the word ing. There is a big rule for that. Probably in the future videos, I'm going to talk about it. But for today, you understand. I look forward to meeting you and helping you realize your goals. I look forward to, you know, meeting you. It's look forward to going. Ing will come. Um, the phrase always goes with the word ing. I look or I'm really looking forward to or look forward to. Go on is wrong. Going on. Use this verb in a gerund form. Ing has to come. Remember this. All right. We must ensure that everyone is comply with the rules. Now, whenever you have the fact or a rule, simply put it in the present tense. We make sure that everyone complies with the rules. Everyone is complying is also wrong. Always try to put it in the present tense. Everyone complies. Uh, with the rules. Not comply, everyone is singular, everyone is happy, he is, he eats, everyone eats, everyone complies. Yes, has to come as per subject verb agreement. Having finished the book, the ending was very satisfying. You never say the ending was satisfying. It's always you who find something satisfying. So whenever you use the word satisfying, always use the word I. I find it satisfying. I found the ending satisfying. <laughs> okay. Not a grave mistake, but the word satisfy is with respect to a particular person or a subject, not with the ending. Ending was satisfying means ending was satisfying someone. All right, hope you are getting it. It's I found the ending satisfying. It's I found, I was satisfied with the ending, not the ending was satisfying something. Hope you are getting it. Hope you are getting it. It's me who was found something satisfying. Ending was satisfying means ending the, <laughs> the word ending was satisfying someone. That is wrong. Getting it right. I found something satisfying. Um, hope you are understanding the mistakes. Um, the manager asked asked the employees to not work. Manager asked the employees not to work, not to not to work, or to not work. It's not to work, not to not um, reverse them. Okay, do comment in the comment section how many of you got ten out of ten, or at least nine or eight. Um, we will come up with few more videos like this. Do comment if you want more videos like this on a similar pattern. I'm gonna. I know come up with more videos something like this very shortly if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button for the future notifications and very soon i will be back till then take care thanks much